My name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make foxes with a background that explores both geometric and organic shapes. For this tutorial, you're going to need something to draw with. It could be anything from a marker to a pencil crayon, a crayon or a wax crayon, and something to color with. And you can pick any mark making medium that you want. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to be exploring shapes, both geometric and organic. So geometric shapes are shapes that are symmetrical and tend to be man-made, while Organic shapes are shapes that you tend to find in nature, not a lot of symmetry is happening in them. Um, those might be something like squirrels and blobs. Okay, so this is going to be an art piece that features a fox and we're going to use shapes to decorate the background. Um, so, we're going to start off with the fox. Now, you can use any medium that you want to use to draw with. I'm going to use black marker so that you can see it a little bit more easy on the camera. So here we go. We're going to start off with the fox's face. We're going to draw a heart shape pattern, just the top of it. And that's going to be for the fox's face. Okay, next we're going to draw two lines down so it's not connected and then we're going to draw a nose at the bottom. We're going to color it in with a black and we're also going to add little hatching lines along the nose there or on the snout. Underneath we're going to draw a line down from there and two lines out on a diagonal or what looks like an upside down V. Next we're going to curve those up toward the snout just like that just to create the face. And finally some zigzag lines down toward the bottom. Okay, next we're gonna draw two eyes, so two circles on either side of the snout. I'm also gonna add a little chin in here. And I'm, all, I'm gonna draw a circle in each eye, then color in the rest, leaving that little circle white. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to add some thin lines around the eyes just for some added detail. Now we need to create the rest of the fox's face. We're going to draw two slightly curved triangles. We're going to curve a line down the center of each. Then we're going to add some inner ear hair with some zigzag lines just like that. And now we're going to complete the rest of the fox's face with some zigzag lines. Okay, now we're going to draw the fox's body and all we're going to do is zigzag lines down from the face to the bottom of the page. We're just going to hide part of a tail in the background. So I'm going to draw zigzag lines up and then for the tip of the tail I'm going to add some more zigzag lines and that will stay white and I'm also going to add a patch of chest fur and that will stay white as well. 
Great, so now we have our fox, and this fox is now done. We're going to imagine that there is a straight line down the center of our page. On this side, around the fox, we're going to draw geometric shapes. Things like triangles and diamonds, um, squares and rectangles, and circles. And this side, we're going to do geometric shapes, so you can do blobs, you can do like a leaf shape. You can do swirls, whatever suits you. For me, I'm going to do swirls and blobs, and over here I'll play with some geometric shapes. But this is your opportunity to experiment however you want, and you can follow along with what I'm doing, or try doing your own patterns of geometric shapes on one side, and patterns of organic shapes that you can think of on the other side. So I'm going to start off with the geometric side first. And I'm just going to draw different geometric shapes around my fox. So I'm not doing any particular pattern. For me, I'm just drawing them randomly. Now on the other side, I'm going to draw organic shapes. So you're going to see that I'm going to draw both swirling type shapes, like these ones here, but I'm also going to add some blobs here and there. You can follow along and do the same kind of organic shapes that I'm doing, or you can think of your own. Once you're done drawing your shapes, you are ready to color, and you can use whatever you want to color with. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using wax crayons for this whole thing today. But you could use anything you want, such as pencil crayons, you can shade with your pencil, you could use felt markers to color, or you could use oil pastels or just use wax crayons like I'm going to use. Whatever works for you and whatever you have available at your home or in your classroom. I'm gonna start off with the fox first and I'm going to color orange around the face. So I'm gonna leave this part white and the rest will become orange.
For the inside of the ear, I'm just going to color very lightly to create a lighter value of my orange. And I'm going to also color the snout lightly. So it's a light orange and same with the face. And I'm also going to add some lines of orange around the face and chest. Just very light ones, okay? I'm pressing quite light. I'm not pressing firmly. I'm also gonna do that on the tail and that's gonna add some fur texture. If you could find a black crayon or a dark brown or even a blue, you can shade. Okay, so I'm gonna just barely, barely color over some areas to create shading with wax crayon. I'm gonna do that around the ears. You can also do this around the face. And that's just gonna make all of your details pop off the page. So around the eyes. That'll make it look super cute. And if you color in a gentle, gentle circle, it'll make that pen, the wax crayon or even your pencil crayon appear to be much softer. A place you might find shadows is most definitely under the neck and you can press a bit more firmly there because shadows will be a little bit more dark. And also where the tail meets the body. Perfect, so now we got our shadows on our fox and we are ready to color the background. Okay, so in my picture, I'm going to use greens and blues to color my background because I want that to contrast my fox. And because blue and orange are complementary colors, that will help create more contrast in my art piece. I'm only going to leave color, sorry, the shapes. I'm going to leave the rest of the background white. You can color using whatever colors that you want to use and you can choose to leave your background white or you can color it in.
once you're done coloring, your art piece is done. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MizArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. And shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MizArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time!